Hey, what's up guys, Jay here, bringing us back another video. And today I just wanna to talk about the topic of is self-improvement cope. Now, some people look at that title and they might be like, hell no, it ain't cope. Some people might look at that title and be like, yeah, it's cope because it's all over. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm pretty sure maybe maybe you guys, you know, certain topics from my channel, maybe you guys come from other YouTubers, big YouTubers that I watch, such as Stephens Cole, Ron Wills, uh, Hamza, Hamza, probably pronounce his name, um, and a couple other people. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure if you know about the red pill, I'm pretty sure you know about the black pill, right? You know what I'm saying? They're, and if you don't know what the black pill is and you are aware of what the red pill is, the black pill pretty much is saying like, it's damn near over. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty much like, there's no point. Like for example, if you're like four foot, if you're like five foot two, five foot three, you're too short. Or like, if you're really big, it's over for you. Or like, if you're a certain race, then it might be over for you in terms of certain things, right? So yeah, man. Um, I don't, like I said, me personally, you know what I'm saying? I have read some of that stuff and I have, you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to sit up here and say it's all wrong, you know what I'm saying? Cause I think it's just simply putting out the facts, but it's one thing putting out the facts and it's another thing dwelling on it. You know what I'm saying? I like, like, yeah, some of that stuff is true. You know what I'm saying? Of course, like more attractive people, like the more attractive you are, of course you're gonna be, you know, placed above a uh, quote unquote, like I said before, uglier person in society. You know what I'm saying? It's all subjective. I mean, that's just what anything, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's confirmation bias anywhere you go in life. It's, everybody's always gonna be on different levels. It's always gonna be somebody on top. It's always gonna be somebody on bottom. And like, yeah, it's real easy to say like, yeah, man, it's always gonna be like that, bro, just get over it. Cause I understand a lot of people can get caught up on that. We all get caught up on the self-confidence. You know, most of us in America, especially, get caught up on the confidence and the, the lack of self-esteem. And this person is better than me because they got more money. Or this person's better than me because they got more muscles or this person's better than me because they're taller than me or they're more attractive you know what i'm saying it's always gonna be like that you know like somebody always gonna be more ahead of you in life and you know what i'm saying that's why you gotta focus on you but it's not about that it's not about being ahead it's not about other people it's just about you know just your journey and what it means to you you know what i'm saying so i don't think it's cope of course you know what i'm saying i mean look you got a choice like for example, self-improvement, one of the main things self-improvement is improving your skin and working out. Now obviously, how is it a cope if, so you wanna just be really big and have the piece of face or would you rather be fit and have your skin glowing? You know what I'm saying? Now, of course, if choosing, of course, if you have to choose between the options, most people are gonna choose to at least be somewhat, at least be healthy and have clear or somewhat clear skin. You know what I'm saying? you like, why would I, like, why would I still be complaining? And then I'd be like, oh yeah, it's a cold, but it's no point in me doing it. And I didn't even try. I didn't even try to do it. I didn't even try to do anything. I didn't try to improve in any way, shape or form. I'm sitting up here complaining. So like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to complain and say that self-improvement is a cold, I mean, at least do this shit first. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Like, I feel like you have no room to talk. Like, especially when people talk about like weight loss is a cold. Oh, because like, you know what I'm saying? Your jeans and, hey man, you might still have an ugly face and this and that. I'm pretty sure if you put two ugly, quote unquote, ugly dudes side by side, and one of them got a better body than the other one, I guarantee you that one with the better body gonna get at least 50 times more play than the one with the worst body did. Just the face, just based off the fact that he put in some fucking time. Like I said, hey, he, his course is not the end all be all. Self-improvement, that's only one part of life. I mean, you can't control other shit like accidents and death and this and that, you know what I'm saying? You can't fucking control shit like that. So why would, you know, it, it ain't got nothing to do with that. Like self self improvement is just simply, it's just simply a tool. It's not the I don't I don't think it's you know what I'm saying I I do think it helps a lot of life's problems, but life's problems you know it's fighting it's financial stuff going on, it's emotional relationships going on in here like people are killing each other. It's power you know what I'm saying like self improvement is just uh, simply just a piece. It's a large piece of the puzzle of what we call life. You know what I'm saying. Obviously, it's not the end all be all the things, but look, man, it's either you gonna complain and be fat as fuck, or complain and not fucking put in no time into anything in your life, or complain at least fucking you try. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you will not be complaining if you try. Now, of course, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna sit up here and say everything is linear. Like, oh, just because you lose weight, that means that shit gonna get better. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit could still be the same, especially if you're in fixed with society here. And I'm currently working on that myself every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on my mental. That's what it's really about. You know what I'm saying? The self-improvement shit is really fucking about your mind and shit like that. Cause 
you sit up there and get all that money, you sit up there and lose all this weight, and that shit not gonna matter. And I had to learn that shit the hard way. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's not fucking cope. I mean, I feel like, just like Hamza said, Hamza said, like, if you haven't tried, you can't really, I don't feel like you have any say, you know what I'm saying? Because it definitely wasn't a cope for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I still got problems. You always gonna have problems regardless, but my problems are way more fucking less when I'm walking out of the house and I can actually feel confident when I'm within myself rather than me walking into a room. I'm base fuck and I take care of myself. I'm fucking beating every day. Then I got all this fucking anxiety built up in my head before I even get into a bad situation. So now I got bad shit, just top it onto the bad shit. Like, I'm already negative before it even start. So, yeah, guys. Um, I just want your opinion on, I guess you could say, Maybe black pill or self improvement in general. Do you think it's a cope? Do you not think it's a cope? How's your journey been as far as this? So yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, leave your stories down in the comments. Uh, if you have any topics for me, just let me know. This is Jay Hidden. I'm out. Peace.